back on Midday. Tennis, anyone? Well, you may have to turn down that offer, not because of the heat, but because of aches and pains that are just too much to bear. Now, if it's tennis elbow or pain in the back, our next live line guest may be able to help get that, get you back to returning that serve. Now, Dr. Ernesto Luciano joins us now. He's with the Virginia Orthopedic and Spine Specialist of Suffolk. And... Uh, this is a concern that I understand you're seeing more of as folks think that they've got the forehand or the backhand, but it's no hand if your elbow's killing you, huh? That is correct, and it's very frustrating because we see a lot of people that come to the office with elbow pain, uh, many times associated with uh, tennis players, but also any uh, activity that involves a lot of gripping and wrist uh, movement. So it happens not only in the athletes, but also in different occupations such as carpenters, etc. So the way I grip something can affect my elbow? Absolutely. Uh, specifically in tennis, um, it has to do with, first of all, proper technique, especially people that depend on one-handed back, backhands. Mm -hmm. Also, grip, grip size and the weight of the, gra the racket is very important in determining whether you're going to suffer from uh, tennis elbow or not, but most importantly is will be technique, so you have to check with your tennis professional. And I can see how carpenters may be coming to you saying, hey, you know, I lift the drill, or I'm working the hammer, or doing something, and now I'm feeling it around here. Absolutely. So what are the latest treatments these days? Are we talking painkillers to start? Well, the, the, the typical first line of uh, defense would be rest, that we often don't associate with part of treatment. But rest is very important, ice modalities uh, such as uh, ice and uh, simple anti-inflammatory medication. In the past, uh, uh, an, an emphasis on cortisone injections have been uh, done, but now more exciting therapies such as more emphasis on rehabilitation with different modalities in physical therapy. And also the advent of this uh, uh, technique called PRP, or the injection of platelet-rich plasma. Tell me more about that, PRP. Are we talking about a needle here or what? It's, 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 it's basically taking some of your blood and uh, taking the substrate which is rich in platelets. The platelets have a lot of uh, uh, healing um, type of, of uh, factors that mm -hmm. you can inject directly into the tendon and improve the capacity of the tendon to regenerate and heal. So you're using my body to heal me? Absolutely. And so that makes it uh, very safe. Um, and it sounds a little more encouraging than having to go under the knife if we're talking surgery. Absolutely. And, and, and in the treatment of uh, lateral pecondylitis or tennis elbow, surgery really is the last resort. And thankfully, only a small proportion percentage of people end up needing surgery, although okay. it is also an option. So sounds encouraging. Dr. Ernesto Luciano with Virginia Orthopedic and Spine Specialist. Thanks for joining us this midday. Thank you. All right. Now, if you want more information, some help with that tennis elbow or see what your options are, you can call the Bon Secours Health Hotline, the number 889-CARE. That's 889-CARE.